<laughs> Was ist los, kleine Mädchen? I think that means what, what's going on, little girl, or something. <laughs> Just made that up. Anyway, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Lano, Texas, near Lano, Texas, in an ungated community. <sighs> what a wonderful day. <laughs> I'm still here. Nah, 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 nah. Anyway, uh, I want to give a shout out to Mike and Timber. Uh, they came by yesterday and visited uh, for a little while. He's on the road. He's got him a cargo van that he's converted into a home. Been in it for, I don't know, two or three years, whatever. And yeah, uh, they were headed to Fredericksburg from here and then I guess out to the West Coast eventually. Good morning to you, Mike. Good morning to you, Timber. But having said that, yeah, I'll post that video at lunchtime. That'll be your lunchtime vid. So... Uh, anyway, for those of you that are interested in uh, stuff, <laughs> there's a good movie about uh, being frugal and stuff. It, it was written by Pearl S. Buck, and uh, they made a movie out of it, and there's also a book. The book's better. It's just a short, it's not a big, long book. It's called The Good Earth. If you get a chance, read it. It, it could be a life changer. I, I've read it about a half a dozen times. And I've seen the movie. It's just a good uh, story of uh, a life. Anyway, having said that, moving right along here, Rusty. you got other things to do. Anyway, I've uh, been living in an RV a long time. And uh, let's do a... Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The current temperature in Lano is 74 degrees. With a high of 86. Uh, that's getting a little warmer. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in... Bangor, Maine. In Bangor, it's currently 48 degrees. With a high of 70. Anyway, moving right along, let's do. Let's get one out of the 1,001 one-liners and short jokes. All right, this is a short joke. My local police chief has just finished. Has just finished a talk on heroin. Couldn't understand any of it. Hmm. What's the difference between unlawful and illegal? Unlawful is against the law. Ill illegal is a sick bird. Someone stole my mood ring. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, see, those are big old biggies there. And, uh, hey, Google, make us laugh. What kind of weather do cats like best? Anything, as long as it's muggy. A little weak, a little weak, a little weak. But anyway, let's do the quote button right quick, and then we'll move along. Pay no attention to those who talk behind your back. It simply means you are two steps ahead. Yeah, I, it could mean that. <laughs> it could mean they're just jealous and they want to bring you down. But having said that, guys, let me give let me give YouTube something to take a picture of. Take it, ding. Ever seems like every time I start a video, I mean, I blow my nose, I get all ready, and then I get an itch. But anyway, having said that, let's get this ready here. Now, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday morning, I think. I think it is Wednesday the 29th, 28th, 29th, 29th. Anyway, good morning. Anyway, good morning, Ben. This is Ben Lewis on driving. He says, hey, Rusty, good morning. I hope all is well your way. I myself have been using propane as my heat source. And I have a 200-gallon tank, and I use a ventless fireplace, too. It works great for me. I've heard people say that the propane stains certain things, but I haven't noticed anything like that in my four years of using it. Have a great day. Goat. The screaming, stinking alien goat's giving you a stinking goat kiss. How about that? Yeesh. It stinks. Anyway. Thank you, Ben. Ralph P., Good morning, Rusty and all. Thanks for the state park ride along. Florida has many state parks, but none with that many campsites. Wow, the goat and I were surprised. We got a lot of goats going on here this morning. I can see that. Here you go, another stinking goat kiss from outer space. Uh, Guardian Pet Care Massage Gym. Uh, sounds like a good way to wet your travel desire. I'm sure the goat likes to get out too. Hope you have an excellent day, Rusty. Well, you're going to get stinking today. Uh, the goat kisses everywhere. Anyway, here we go. Dorian Christie. Hello, Dorian. What a nice park and a great idea. Short trips. Enjoy, amigo. Yeah, uh, I'm just getting lazy. That's all. Well, I just want to drive my Classita, and uh, I've got, uh, I'm have got. i waiting on a builder to give me a quote on a, a small cabin, 
and uh, I haven't uh, done it. I mean, I, I have to wait. Uh, this this is an old video I did way back when, and this person is going to end up in Matilda. I just have a feeling. It says, I won't be petty and unsubscribe because you fell victim with many others to a con man. Go golf man con... Do you know this person? I was actually talking about Donald Trump. That was a long time ago. And he, and he said... Do you know? See, here's the thing. We we make comments about these politicians. I don't care if it's Biden, Trump, whoever. We've never met them. We don't know a damn thing about them. All we know is what the media tells us. You know, and for people to make a judgment like that, you get stuck. I'll just remove you, whatever your name is, and and feed you to Matilda. She needs some uh, uh, blueberry muffins, and uh, yeah, that that should do that. Blueberry muffins and. Uh, what else? Maybe a little juice or some kind? Anyway, thank you, whatever your name was. Matilda appreciates it. Anyway, Terry Mose. Yeah, it, it's so frustrating. I hear people say, oh, that guy sucks. Or that, that girl. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that actor, that actress. We've never met any of them. The media just, blah, 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 they're bad, they're bad, or they're good, they're good, they're good. And we go, oh, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're bad, they're bad. Jesus. You know, form your own opinion. Where do you meet them? You know, Terry Mosley on the road again. I've been watching your videos for some time now and enjoy every one of them. Thank you, Terry. But I am, here you go, but, the old but, but I am wondering if you ever see any conversation, oh, conversion vans or trailers? Yeah, I got one yesterday. I was going to show you a video. I haven't noticed any. Well, you're going to see one today. Uh, yet, I have a cargo trailer and plan on doing a lot of traveling with, with it soon. And I'm going to run, am I going to run into problems getting into state parks with it? No, state parks well, shouldn't be any problem at all. Uh, RV parks will be a big problem for you, though. Yeah, they ain't going to let you do it. But, yeah, you just lucky day, Terry. Uh, Mike uh, built him a, a, uh, a cargo trailer home, and uh, you're going to get to see it around noon today. Scotty Thompson's got three here. Uh, anyway, Scotty says, I'm going, to give a bo I'm going to give a bowling ball I don't use to my dad, my 13-pound bowling ball. Roto Grip MVP Pearl Rusty LOL. Thank you, Scotty. Good decision. Cool comment call. Cool video tech talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. John Cook. Hoist up the sail, John Cook. And nobody's wearing masks. Yeah, no, they don't have, no, in, in the state parks in Texas, they're not even wearing masks uh, at the state park office. No, it, it's, uh, it, they just have a sign there. If you want to wear a mask, fine. <laughs> better than us. Thank you, John Cook. See, he he noticed. Spinning Wheels. Spinning Wheels. There's a song about that. Uh, spinning Wheels 2134. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass, and I'm homebound, staring blankly ahead, just making my way. Making a way through the crowd. Is there something in this spinning wheel? Uh, trip on, Captain. You're very welcome. I'm tripping on. Thank you. Craig W. Hunt. We usually go under 200 miles one way. We belong to a small group of 11 parks in Southern California. I got a site in Albuquerque, New Mexico for $6.60 a night through our group. We do two, two to three big trips a year. Well, that's good, Craig W. Hunt. Thanks for that info. This is on Castell, Texas. Yeah, yeah, that was that cute little old gal that runs it. And I can't remember her name. She's pretty, though. Uh, my great-grandparents lived there just across the street when I was little, spent every summer and Christmas there. It's where my heart belongs. Uh, this is Marie Goodner, by the way. It's where my heart belongs to be. We call it, we, we always call it Castile. Uh, but it, they tell me to pronounce it Castell. They, they uh, moved to Greenville in the mid-80s, but my family still went back every few years till the early 2000s. I was so sad to see my grandfather's home turned into the dump yard. <laughs> Anyway, Marie, thanks, James. Enjoy your life. DB, DB Cooper. The government will cover the rest. Yep, sure will. Drill Sergeant. Fall in. Damn, Rusty, take up take up guitar or something. Uh, I got a banjo. I mean, uh, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, somebody sent me, ukulele. I can't do it. I tried it several times. It, uh, I, every now and then I pick it up and strum on it, but I, I, I haven't made any progress. No, no, I'm... Uh, it, it, my hands don't work right. Uh, Debbie Caron. 
thinking about buying plans for a tiny home. I am watching your progress with interest. I have some plans for a tiny home. You're going to get to see them too, I hope. D, D, I, did, I, I published that. I showed you the plans. D. Berry, I like your comment. Just look around like a baby. <laughs> just looking around like a baby bird in a nest. Good description. It is. It's a very good description. Mark McDowell. Hello, McDowell. You were lost driving around the camp down campground three days and three nights. Bet you got great gas mileage. Yeah, I do get great gas mileage. About 46, 47 miles a gallon in my little. Chevy Spark 2021 LS manual transmission, roll up, crank up windows. Patrick Hagens, that's how I am. I think going to Leesburg Dam State Park here in New Mexico only takes me about 25 minutes to get there. That's the way to do it, babe. Sherry Hooker, thanks for the ride, Rusty. You're very welcome. Jim Christensen, if memory serves me properly, your old home base was almost next door to this park. That's correct. It's four miles from uh, from the state park. You travel park road for a lot. I did. Might have been a prud might have been prudent to have kept that home base and put your cabin there. It was nice to watch the deer and the longhorns. Great privacy. Well, it would have been, but I didn't. Eli James, I love your car and RV. Thank you, Eli James. WTBM one two three. Cool. Okay. Kelly Abercrombie. I would only add one thing to your outro along with carpe diem, etc., etc. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Kelly, I'm going to remove that comment because I don't like religious comments. Carlos E., and I know some people are going with, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, bye. Carlos E., don't mind family restrooms, but I have a daughter and she identifies, oh, this, is, this, is, this is our world today, okay? I was in Marble Falls, Texas. They were they're building a, or have built a new little downtown park area with restrooms, but they didn't have a men's or women's. They just had unisex. Okay, Carlos E says, "Don't mind family restrooms, but I have a daughter and she identifies as a woman. Period. So I would have to be outside the door to keep perverts out. As for other genders, well, that in them I got my own view. Blessings to all. I got mine too." Here it is, real simple. There's males and females. That's it. I-T. Period. Okay? If you don't believe me, reach down between your legs. You find out real quick. And if you can't figure that out, then you need to be put in a home. Anyway, Peggy Parker, I love the driving videos. If I was retired, that's exactly what I would like to do, drive around and enjoy our beautiful and interesting and fun state. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, just... Yeah, it, you know, whenever you get really bored, you're going, I don't know what I'm going to do. Go get in your car and take a drive. You'd be surprised what you'll run into. James Parchman, stooge, looking always for a free ride. Oh, James, are you being rude here? Let me read that again. He says, stooge, I guess me, looking always for a free ride. Well, James, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to feed you to Matilda. Matilda needs some dessert. How about some apple pie? named James. Here it comes now. Goodbye, James. Any more? Matilda's really smiling, so if some of you got some more comments like that, load them up, baby. Kenneth Zimmer. Good info. Local bankers do, do have great insight. Priceless is well and well thought out. What goes up? Well, gravity hasn't failed yet. You're right. James Parchman. Well, there he is again. Same exact comment. I guess I'm going to get rid of you forever then, James. I don't like it. You know, once is good. You know, once is a warning. Two, you're out forever. Here comes some, uh, how about a glass of orange juice? There goes James again. Every time he pops up now, he'll go again. Franny Lee 38, I'm still recommending a look at tiny homes. I should have waited to post here. That acre price is ridiculous. Wow, you think it, try to buy one acre. Ho, oh, ho, oh. ho. Huh? Franny Lee, 38. I missed that big decision. Also, you, you are too busy for being retired. I cannot keep up with the LOL. Uh, tiny hunt. They, you cannot put a tiny home on my lots in Kingsland, Texas. You, I mean, excuse me, Lano, Texas. You can't. You can't put a mobile home. You can't put, a, put an RV there. 
That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm putting what you can put there, and that's it. Kenneth Zimmer. Now, I knew that going in. Kenneth Zimmer. Sweet. Drive-by trash cans. Nothing like a frugal adventure. What? Where's trike, man? Fixed domicile versus covered drive-in with utilities. Father time nesting. Thank you, Kenneth. Now back on your meds. James Parchman. Stooge clickbait. Oh, James. That, I, I thought, oh, I, I got rid of him, but he's already got all these. Yeah, well, I'll get you again. Here you go, Matilda. One more deal here. Uh, what, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'll save you another piece. Of, we'll put a piece of pie in the fridge for you, okay? How about that? You're getting too fat. Uh, uh, well, you're getting fat off that one dude. Wayman Samang. Beer and bacon. Inks Lake is very beautiful. Never been it, never been it before. Passed by, but never stops. Glad you showed it to us, Rusty. I've, I've showed it to you a few times, Wayman. You ain't been watching my videos. Lorena Landrum, favorite place to go. We love it. Yep, it is nice. It's, that's why it's so crowded. A lot of people like it. And it's, and it's, be, be, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's close to some large cities. Dan Young's, Rusty, I've been thinking about your cabin. I wondered, it, is it a slab with cement blocks? Might be, oh, they're using the cinder blocks? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, I may check on that. It's a good point. Here's Ron Rasp. Is that an LBGTQ compatible? No, it's not, Ron. In Texas, we're not compatible with that at all. I'm sorry. Uh, Ruth Ann Dietz. Uh, yay, make a pond out of the pit. Uh, you can call it a mosquito pond. Remember, Rusty, you live in Texas. Yeah, there are mosquitoes, but not bad here. Along the, you know, along the Gulf Coast and East Texas and places where it stays damp a lot, it, there's a lot. Gold Faro Facto. That's on Made in China. Thank you, Gold Facto. This is Curtis Ammons on, uh, the, uh, in the park. Uh, Curtis Ammons, I love long drives. 848 miles last week in one day, 420 the next day. This Texans love Utah. Oh, good. Good for you. If you love long drives, then do it. R.I. Back. When there wasn't color TV as a teenager, I worked the summers at Garner Park. After work, swam in the Frio, then went to the jukebox dance. Yeah, I've been there many times. And was in heaven dancing with all the pretty girls. I fell in love many times. Well, I have to tell you this. I did too. That was a great place for kids. That big patio with the, the jukebox. They played, you played, put in a nickel and played music. Yeah. And there was a song. I'll even, I, I remember me and me and Frank were the best of friends, and our friendship will never end. But it would hurt him so for him to know that I love his girlfriend. Yeah, it was a that was a good song, and I heard it the first time at Garner State Park dancing on that patio. Plain air. Real estate boom happened in 2008. Well, it's happening again. Anyway, we'll do a few more here, and then we'll shut her down because I'm going to take a trip today but uh, around noon I'll take my laptop with me and I'll post that video about the uh, uh, build out on the, uh, the what do you what did I call it uh, where did I put my note oh, I'll put it up there it's called a, tra a tra cargo trailer anyway Galen Reed good video Rusty I enjoy seeing different parks me too uh, two more NB Rusty, sir, you make so much sense. A cabin is simple and wood all throughout. Have a nice afternoon and take care. Yeah, we'll see. I may not may not be able to use wood. It may be too expensive. I may have to go with uh, uh, sheetrock. But it doesn't matter to me. I, I'm not worried about it. I don't care. I'm not concerned about the looks of the building and myself. I mean, I just want a home. And I want a home base, I guess. I guess I do. Sam Hagen, C of E, C O E, Corps of Engineer Parks are one half the price for old guys. Uh, usually nicer than state parks. They are, that is very true, and I go there for that reason. Uh, Wayne Johnson, Sparky wants to go too. Sparky ain't going on because just I'm just going to be there two nights, one full day. So yeah, I'll just drive over there, park, spend the next day, and then uh, night, and then come back. Yeah, it's just a short trip. So uh, Sparky gets a rest. Moria King, that campsite looks like a rabbit warren, whatever. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, near Lano, in an ungated community called an RV park. This is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you one penny. What else? <clears throat> 
Yeah, just click on the link. Some of you are and some of you have. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, also help you lose weight. Why? Because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off is, ta-da, eat less. That's it, baby. You can't jog that far. And then what else? Uh, take deep breath. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. So do it. Why am I doing my hands like this? I have no clue. But anyway, what else? Uh, stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because hmm? you'll feel better immediately. And you may live longer, healthier, because of that one thing. Do it. So, what else? Then, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which are every single thought you have. So, add good ingredients. Ta-da! If you were going to bake a cake, you're going to add cement? No, you're not. You're going to add good stuff. So, do the same thing here. You know? Don't watch the news, don't watch the news, don't watch the news, don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the whole universe brought to you by professional negativity deliverers. And they argue about how negative it really is. Why? Because that's how they make money. If they, they aren't good, they're fired. So, enjoy your day. What else? Accentuate the positive, eliminate the, pos eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time, and... At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until around lunchtime when I will post a video about Mike's cargo van. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.